Ladies and gentlemen, dear ministers, dear professors, dear judges, extraordinary and distinguished audience. From this place, before I move to the substantive part of my speech, I would like to thank you, for, you very much for inviting to this, to this conference. I would like to congratulate the idea, and so it was, and it's for me, a very big pleasure. However, I'm moving on the substantive part of my speech. I will make a very controversial and bold thesis. The criminal law system is most controversial legal system that is currently functioning in countries, not only our region, but globally in the world. Criminal liability, you know, determined in the course of criminal proceedings in the most controversial legal liability because in this area we all, in the majesty of law, of the of majesty of the law to interfere with the status of the free individual, the status of the right. And, you know, I think that is no other legal system where often met good and evil, true and falsehood, strange and powerlessness, justice and injustice. There is no other legal system where on the same lane is the public interest, private interest. Social expectation, state expectation. Adult life or the life of a child. And finally, there is no other such legal system where the effect of past conviction and acquittal sentence affect very much on the social, public, professional, and family position of individual. Activated penal system can give you relief, but it can also be burden and, and obstacles of your life. The paraphrase of the quotes by Franz Kafka from the famous book, The Process, criminal law, criminal court, wants nothing for you, from you. He receives you when you come, and he lets you go when you go out. And, and I would like to add that the results of this visit is not nice. Contrary, it's difficult to predict and sometimes to understand. And so what is going on in criminal law? What is its structure? What is the purpose of criminal law? What happened from the point of view of history of our countries that the present criminal law system created in this recently much complicated model? I will try, I, I will try to answer now on the example of the Polish criminal system and view of the doctrine. In the Polish criminal law doctrine, it has always been accepted that the criminal law system comprises three interconnected areas. One area, material, substantive criminal law, the basic source of the, which of the Act of 6 June 1997 Penal Code, which provides the basic rule of incurring criminal liability of individuals, including description of the crime, you know, etc. Second, area of formal law, the basic source of which is the Act of 6 June 1997, Code of Criminal Procedure. It is the known as procedural criminal law, criminal trial, criminal procedure. Former criminal law is an area which is a set of legal provisions regulating the rules of conduct of public authorities in criminal cases, the rules of their initiation and conduct the mode and forms of individual procedural action. And third, area of execut executive penal law in Poland, the source of which is the Act of 6, June 1997, Executive Penal Code, the code contains provisions necessary for the enforcement of penalties imposed in criminal proceedings or other decision taken, taken there. The main these huge blocks, the, the main there, three huge blocks, systems of criminal law, have specific goals. In Poland, the prevailing view is that the relation of material criminal law to formal criminal law is very important for the qualify of the all of, of the entire legal system. The basis of this relationship between material criminal law and formal criminal law can be summarized in one word. This word is implementation, realization, activization. The point is that it's assumed that all of material criminal law in the penal code defines the basic principles of incurring criminal liability in order to correctly establish and bear this liability, the norms of formal criminal law must be activated. In the other words, briefly, 
formal criminal law implements activate, you know, material criminal law. In this case, we find the four most important points. The implementation of material criminal law by formal criminal law assumes establish the fact of committing a crime and degree of its social harm, determination of the persons who took part in, the, in, in its commission and the degree of their guilt and other circumstances affecting the commission of the crime, imposing a specific penalty as a certain ailment for the committed crime, execution of the imposed penalty. However, I represent it as something else. If you base, perhaps, I would, I would say, more on axiology and a little forgotten natural law. As we know, the natural law, use naturale, is a set of norms resulting from the human nature, from the very existence of human being, which is unalienable sorry, and independent of the status of institution, which gives us understanding of the world and the attempt of understanding it as it is. It's simple to understand. We know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. We know that the beginning of the life is the birth. And that that is the life is the beginning, that the gift of life is level. We know that life, public peace, and the safety of citizens should be protected as much as possible. This is the nature order on the th of, of the things. You know, it seems to me it's this time recently some criticized, ridiculed, Therefore, in natural law, the most important role is played by, by values. Values understood as a models determining our attitudes towards, towards people and things. Values can be anything that is goals resulting from the needs aspiration of a person which is subject of his desire. Values trigger and select ways of behaving, dividing them in very simple ways into good and bad, those that deserve praise and those that deserve punishment. This is where the area of the criminal law comes into the play with all its, its consequences. That is why I add that, in my opinion, the purpose of the relationship between the, <laughs> between the material criminal law and former criminal law is the realization of value. I, divide, I have divided this value into, firstly, autotelic value, also known as final proposal, purposeful, absolute value, value are values that are valuable in themselves. And secondly, praxeological value as known as instrumental subsidiary supportive value, understand as mean by which ultimate goals are achieved, therefore they are values helpful in the realization of autotelic value. As we see, this value constitutes a particular hierarchy, which autotelic value is higher than others, the lower value serves the higher, on the other hand, any higher value makes the lower value mindful. Among the autotelic values in the area of crime, criminal law, I included such value as dignity, true, justice, and the rule of law. Among the praxeological values in the area of criminal law, I, in I included such values as morality, security, trust, and honesty. In view of the above, the question arises very important. How to combine these three blocks with each other so that formal criminal law implements the assumption of criminal, material criminal law and the third block of executive criminal law will be effectively applied? And this is precisely the assumption that every legislator will face, introducing more and more new legal regulation in the area of broadly understood criminal law. And ladies and gentlemen, by introducing the huge reform of criminal law in Poland in 1997, an attempt was just made to find a good way to effectively combine these three blocks of material law, formal criminal law, and executive criminal law. No forgetting, however, that the area of criminal law is particularly susceptible to all kinds of historical events, as well as political, social, and economic influences. To a large extent, the factor of time and circumstances create, and of course, will create, in the line with the Roman paramise lex prospicit non respicit, the present and future model of the broadly understood criminal law. The state must anticipate all threats, which are a constant future, 
of the criminal law area. Therefore, the first of the changes, challenges that arises in area of criminal law is the growing number of new types of crime. A pure, a new of crimes of types of crime is always a never-ending story. The refinement and ingenuity of the perpetrators of crimes must be met with an appropriate response from the state responsible and for maintaining public order and peace. Therefore, the first response of the new treats related to the realities of the 19 in Poland was the introduction of a completely new institution of criminal law. This institution is an anonymous witness and crow witness. An anonymous witness, or rather an incognito witness, is a witness who was, who was questioned in the course of criminal proceedings and whose circumstances allow to disclosure of identity, including personal data apart from the prosecutor and the court due to a um, well-founded fear of danger of life, health, freedom, or significant property of the witness or the person closest to him are not known to other participants in the proceedings. A crow witness, different way, a suspect who has agreed to testify as a witness in return for not carrying out his sentence or gentleness. The purpose of the Polish institution of a crown witness is to disclose all crimes committed in an organized group or a criminal association and crime such as bribery, paid active, passive protection, abuse of office by a state official, going voting votes, participation in an organized group or a criminal association. The evidence from the testimony of a crown witness is extremely difficult evidence and requires prudent use. Sorry. Currently, it is not an institution very often used in Poland. An example of moderation in applying the institution of a crown witness is the data according to which in the first 10 years of functioning of the institution of a crown witnesses, the status of 19 suspect was granted. And in the last five years, only seven suspects. A new times of crime, and the same time a challenge in the area of criminal law is also combating economic crime, the so-called white-collar crimes. In this context, it is worth mentioning that the introduction to the so-called extended confiscation, this is a completely new and recently introduced in 2017 institution in Polish criminal order system, which is undoubtedly very controversial, but, but in my opinion, very avant-garde and much needed legal solution. For example, in Poland in 2019, the provisions of, on extended confiscation were applied in 668 cases, and the seized property was worth over two billion zlotych. The institution transferred the burden of proving the legal sources of property to the accused. It's controversial, yes, I know. The point is that is the event of a confiscation for a crime, the benefits of which the perpetrators has obtained, even indirectly, a material benefit of considerable value, the court may order the forfeiture of the enterprise, enterprise owned by the perpetrators or its equivalent if the enterprise was used to commit the crime or hide uh, the benefit, the benefit obtained from it. So ladies and gentlemen, we should remember, however, that in the area of criminal law, there are not only strong and sharp gangsters, but also weak victims among the children. The issue of children's participation in the criminal procedure is one of the most sensitive issues. This is a very important challenge, how to protect the child, how to receive it, and how to use the child testimony so that it doesn't feel bad. In, you know, in the maze of obscure regulation, obscure behaviors among strangers, is some stranger may be funny or scary for child outfits. I mean here, judge and prosecutor togas, or courtroom. This little creature is dependent only on the rules stipulating her participation in this scary for child spectacle. 
it is extremely important that children feel understood and that they understand the new legal reality in which they find themselves. Therefore, a package of 21 legal changes entitled Child-Friendly Law was created in Polish Ministry of Justice, the aim of which is to increase the sense of safety of children appearing in criminal proceedings as a victim or witness of a crime. The postulated legal changes have been accepted to the special needs of children resulting from their age, personal characteristic, and the nature of the crime committed of their damage. The most important changes introduced successfully are the introduction to rules of the testimony by children without fear, the introduction of instruction in the form of pictorial tips, increasing the pro protection of the child intimacy, modernization of friendly room, ext extending the protection of the child, detailed information about the prosec prosecutor <coughs> stalker. Let me elaborate on this a few words. Testimonies without fear. The new solution will guarantee the child access to professional support from the office, an attorney or legal advisor, regardless of the financial situation. The legal representative is also to support the child guardians who also need a sense of security during criminal, criminal procedure. Picture tips. It is planned to develop special tips for children, graphics, which are the equivalent of instruction of, for adults. The youngest victims and crime witnesses should know why they are giving evidence. They also need to understand their rights. Personal uh, protection of intimacy, all proceedings in cases related to sexual violence, usually very painful for the victims, will be conducted with the exception of publicity. Now, until now, it was up to the court decision. The only exception will be when the aggrieved party requests such disclosure. Friendly rooms, Children victims of the most serious crimes are interviewed in friendly rooms, understanding as home children's rooms. You know, very cozy and nice place. It is connected with the special methods of testimony of children. Longer protection, according to the ministry proposal, special treatment of victims or witnesses of the most serious crimes may be applied until they turn 18 up to 15 years old. Each child and teenager, in accordance with the proposed changes, may also indicate an adult who will support him, her, in contact with the justice system. Final remarks. First remarks, the broadly understood area of criminal law is area of realize of value. Second remarks. Historical, economical, social, and political factors shape the relevant legal regulation in the area of criminal law. Especially the emerging new types of crime force the state of actively react by creating new legal regulation aimed at preventing new crimes. Third remarks. The heart of the entire criminal law system, however, in my opinion, the criminal trial former criminal law is, where it is about the implementation of material substantive criminal law this is where the above mentioned value realization takes place. A well developed model of criminal proceedings guarantees the correct application of the norms of material criminal law and consequently the potential application of the executive criminal law. Four remarks. In the area of criminal law, it is necessary to find a balance between the necessity to interfere with the rights of the individual by a public authority and securing this right against possible abuses of this authority and ensuring justice, peace, and public safety. My pleasure. Thank you very much for your attention.